माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू टू मिनट सीरीज ऑफ शॉर्टकट एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ ए कॉन्सेप्ट हियर वी शॉल डिस्कस अबाउट इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव स्पेशल इन 2021 हियर लेट अस डिस्कस दैट देयर इज ए कैपेसिटर एंड दीस टू प्लेट्स ऑफ द कैपेसिटर आर कनेक्टेड टू द बैटरी you all know the current passing through the wire is said to be it is said to be drift current it is said to be drift current and the current flows in the wire and this is a cyclic process you know there is a capacitor having positive charge and negative charge because this is connected to positive and negative but in between the capacitors there is a gap in this gap the current passing is said to be displacement current and this displacement current we have to find out and this is a concept of a capacitor you all know a capacitor charge is equal to capacitance into potential difference which is connected here and drift current if you want to find out you have to write dq by dt differentiate charge with respect to time because you all know i is equal to q by t but here you write dq by dt differentiation and you write id is equal to d by dt of c into v capacitance is constant whereas potential is changing and uh, it is said in the problem that you have to consider if you consider the ac if you consider the ac current then what happens a is represented with v is equal to v not sin omega t because it is a sinusoidal wave then you write drift current is equal to d by dt of c is constant instead of v you write v not sin omega t so c you write like that only and uh, v not you write like that only sin omega t if you differentiate you will get cos omega t okay and you have to differentiate once again omega t also you have to differentiate once again they will get omega so sin omega t means cos omega t in inside omega t is present if you differentiate omega t once again with respect to time okay so omega into dt by dt is equal to 1 omega is left then finally you will be getting one equation that is drift current is equal to c omega v not cos omega t this is going to be our final answer that is said to be b option this is said as b option that's it thank you very much Welcome to one minute series of electromagnetic waves. If this is a question asked in pre, I mean 2022 NEET. Let me discuss what is going to happen here. You all know velocity of light in air is given by C which is equal to 1 by square root of mu naught epsilon naught. Where mu naught is permeability and epsilon naught is permittivity of a free space. Now, velocity of light, velocity of light in a medium is given by 1 by square root of mu epsilon, mu epsilon. This is for medium, this is for medium. Now, he is asking us to find out V by seeing the four options. That means, uh, C by V is equal to square root of uh, mu this uh, c c is upwards mu naught comes to denominator and uh, mu comes to numerator mu naught into uh, c epsilon and epsilon naught okay epsilon and epsilon naught with this it is clear that mu by mu naught can be taken as mu r which is called as relative permittivity permeability and epsilon by epsilon naught is taken as epsilon r you all know 
about this but he's asking us to find out v so v is equal to c divided by square root of mu r epsilon r this is going to be our solution that is c option thank you very much this is one minute series concept of electromagnetic wave let us take an electromagnetic wave here which is having magnetic field as well as electric field you know force due to magnetic field you know force due to magnetic field is equal to force due to electric field and force due to magnetic field is given by b v q and force due to electric field formula you know already it is q into e q q gets cancelled you will get e is equal to b v v means velocity but here you are considering an electromagnetic wave instead of ordinary velocity you will take velocity of light then what happens e naught is equal to b naught into c instead of v e naught means amplitude of uh, electric wave and b naught means uh, amplitude of magnetic wave b naught e naught is maximum amplitude so is asking us to find out the magnetic field so b naught is equal to e naught by c then what happens let us see so here you write b naught is equal to e naught is already given as 48 divided by 3 into 10 power 8 you just solve you will be getting 1.6 into 10 power minus 7 tesla thank you very much welcome to one minute series this is the question asked in previous year 2022 in NEET. Let me discuss an electromagnetic wave in which there is a magnetic wave and an electric wave. Both are mutually perpendicular to each other. But you should know one thing that force due to magnetic field is equal to force due to electric field. Force due to electric field is equal to force due to magnetic field. Then what is going to happen? Let us see. Force due to electric field is given by Q into E. Force due to magnetic field is B V Q. Then charge charge gets cancelled here. Uh, what is left? E is equal to B into V. But it is a wave having velocity of light. Not V. You can consider it as C. E is equal to B C. And he is asking us to find out. What is that he is asking us to find out? He is asking us to find out the ratio of B by E. So B by E is equal to 1 by C. That's it. Your answer is C option. Thank you very much. My dear students, this is a previous year question asked in 2015 NEET. So let us see uh, what is he asking us to find out. You are very well known you are very well known that according to Einstein E is equal to mc square and you also know E is equal to mc into c mc into c and you also know momentum is equal to mass into velocity or momentum is equal to mass into velocity of light anything is same that is p so can you write E is equal to PC? Can you write E is equal to PC? Can you write P is equal to E by C? Let us say this is initial, this is final, P is equal to E by C. Any body, from any body, radiations goes and strikes and returns back. Then what happens to the momentum? So here he is asking us to find out the change in momentum. So momentum initial minus of momentum final. When it goes it is initial P. When it returns back it is going to be how much? Okay it goes it is P initial is P. P final is minus P because it is returning back. So change in momentum. Uh, while going, while going and striking a body, it is taken as 
What is that? E by C while returning back minus half minus E by C. So change in momentum is 2E by C. Okay, thank you very much. My dear students, this is a problem of electromagnetic waves. Let us take intensity. Intensity of light coming from the sun is nothing but power passing per unit area. Okay, power passing per unit area. And you also know intensity, power is equal to energy by time divided by area. Intensity is equal to energy. Energy is nothing but force into displacement. Area I will write first, time I will write next. And displacement by time you can club it. Then force by area. Displacement by time is taken as velocity. But here it is taken as velocity of light. So you got I is equal to F C by A. Next. Here F is equal to I A by C. Okay. Now when the light falls and reflects back. When a light falls and reflects back. Then force is going to become 2IA by C double because it falls on a body and reflects back then you can consider double here thank you very much and the thing is you have to substitute the values here force is equal to 2 intensity means 25 into 10 power 4 and what is this else now area is given so area what is area Area is into 15 centimeters means convert into meters 10 power minus 2 whole square divided by C. Then what is C here? C is nothing but 3 into 10 power 8. Just calculate and get the answer. Find out the correct option in this description. Okay. Keep the answer.